Welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to show you the best setup you can do to be ready for the Gaping Dragon. That is the boss in the depths. Once when you can get there, you'll have no worries. Of course, you'll still need Solaire, but the rest of it you can pretty much do and survive. First of all, you're going to want the Claymore at plus six, once when you can get it there. Uh, it wasn't originally at plus six before the boss, but the, uh, just level up the claymore as much as you can, and you can defeat the boss. You need the pyromancy flame. Once when you can find the the pyromancer. I upgraded the flame after the boss, so you don't need to worry about that. And the shield. You don't need it plus three to start off with. You'll need your flask, of course, and humanity. The clumps you don't really need till you beat the boss. Uh, you need a rusted iron ring and the ring of the evil eye which you'll get in the maze in the depths. You'll need black leather boots, black leather gloves, black leather armor, and the thief mask. I upgraded these after the boss, so you don't need those either. You need your vitality at 50, a tune, a tune at 12, endurance at 12, strength at 40, dexterity at 45, resistance at 12, and intelligence at 25. This is pre-Gaping Dragon mode, pretty much. But don't forget to check that description. If you haven't, hit that bell icon for further videos. And have a great day, night, evening, as much as possible. And I'll see you all in the next. Peace.